In today's video, I'm cleaning my Hydor Professional Canister Filter. It's the 600 model. And I was, it was scheduled to be cleaned in March. And right now, so it's been over a year. Because that's seven months ago. So, we'll see how dirty it is. And I'll show how I set it up. The first thing I'm going to do is pour out some water out of the top here. To open it, I'm just going to pull these tabs on both sides. There's one. And then pop the back clasp, clasp up. Pop the back clasp up. And then pop the front clasp up. This is gonna have a lot of water in it even after you take it off. So I'm just gonna put it sink. In the top we have this grid. I like this canister because it's not really in bypass. It fits very tight against the walls. It's pretty much a cascade with no bypass and it uses lots of trays. This top tray. And this is after a year. In the top tray we have floss right on top and Ceramedia. Floss just comes out and throws away, rinse out the Ceramedia and the pink pad in the bottom will just get clean probably. Looking bad. It's not really that that bad at all. Clean that and put that back in. Cleaning the top grid piece. This is clean. Put it back in there. Scroll my biomedia a little bit and put it all back in. Alright, this tray is all good now, so I'm gonna put this to the side. The next tray we have Seachem Matrix. And this does not have any pads in it at all. So I'm just gonna dump this a couple times. And that's pretty good. Put this to the side. The next tray has backy balls, which has no no pads in it either. So I'm just gonna dump these now. And everything looks pretty clean, even after a year, a year and one month of not cleaning. The next tray has another floss pad that I cut myself which needs to change and underneath it is some ceramic rings so all I gotta do is I use this for as a pre-media just dump this I gotta do is cut. So, so far I have to cut two pieces of floss. One for the top tray and one for that tray. And this is the final tray. This tray has my coarse sponges. We've got this, this is the finest sponge that I cut myself. 
and this is a core sponge that it came with. Give these a quick squeeze. Put the course one back in. And that's everything in the canister. This canister holds a ton of media, as you've seen. Let's see what's built up in the bottom of the canister now. And that's the inside, it's empty. I'm gonna give this a quick brush down and rinse. This is step one, because the filters from the bottom up. So my coarse sponge in the bottom with my fine coat goes in first. I've cut a pad for this, so let me do that now. For the pad, I'm using this. It's a Morning Glory fiber fill from Walmart. I just cut a big piece and I just stuff it in there. So it doesn't need to be. Exact, I just estimate everything. I just cut a big rectangle and I'm just gonna stuff it in there now. This goes above the coarse and fine sponge. You got my pre media ceramic rings and the floss. Now the baki balls. Make sure all the trays seat nicely into each other. Next, the matrix. And this is the final tray. So let me cut a pad for that as well. And this is done. And then you put your final piece on there. That in. and that holds everything in now to clean up check on the impeller make sure it's doing good Was locked in there. Has a ceramic shaft. Looks real good. Has an O ring on it. Impeller itself. A little dirty. Colors all cleaned up. And then put the brush a little bit. When you flip it over, make sure you don't lose this piece, your impeller piece, and that is pushed down in there because it will fall out if it didn't come out already. Clean the rubber gasket along the edge of the ganister going all around with a regular Q-tip. See? So it seals well when I go to put it back together. If your gasket doesn't seal, then you're going to have leaks. So I just give it a quick rub down with the Q-tip. And then rinse it off. Put a little bit of 100% pure silicone grease on my impeller shaft. 
and the o-ring on the outside and a light coating on the magnet put it all back together put your rubber piece on the end and reinsert it down into the hole and twist lock it that's it one twist and it's good this is where the o-ring will seat so I'm going to put a little coat of silicone grease on the edge going all around I'm going to fill it back up with water the water I haven't filtered this high right now and I'm going to be putting the lid back on now. Just want to seat it on there. Just drop it on there. All right. Now you lock your two side clasps. Once you do those, then you lock the front. And there. Okay. And now it's filled. Water was coming out of the out, so you know that is filled all as much as it can. Put water in there to try to get it to prime easier. Check out some excess. I've never had a leak with this canister and I've had it for two years now. Put a little bit of a little bit of silicone grease on the lip here. On both of them. You can't really get to the seal on these hoses. So that's why you have to put it on the lip of the outlets and inlet on the canister itself. And that's it, it's on there. Now I'm gonna reopen the valves. Both valves are open. There's a prime button, so I'm gonna push this and prime it a little bit. You can hear it priming. See the bubbles blowing out. See if it will run. Alright, it's going to blow out all the air. The high door is cleaned, primed, and ready to go.